Hello family, it's Danielle and today we are going to talk about moving beyond the page. I have talked about moving beyond the page on my channel before and it is still one of my most watched videos and I get asked the question all the time, do I still use moving beyond the page? If I am still using it, what are my current thoughts? Do I still love it? All of those good things. So I thought I would hop on here today and do a updated review on moving beyond the page. Let you guys know my current thoughts, if I'm still using it and all of that good stuff. So if you're interested in learning more about moving beyond the page, then stick around for the video. But before we jump into this video, if you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Danielle. I know you can't see my lovely face, but you know, you can go check out some more videos to see that. But on this channel, I do things like talk about homeschooling, parenting, marriage, and anything else that pertains to life. So if you're interested in any of that, I would love for you to consider joining my little family and hitting the subscribe button showing up somewhere on your screen. And if you choose not to subscribe, at least hit that like button give your girls a, a thumbs up and like the video even if you choose not to subscribe but we would love to have you here to the rest of my non-traditional family you guys are the mvps and i love you bunches thank you so much for hanging in there with me you guys all right Let's talk about moving beyond the page, you guys. I, it's been so long since I've talked about this curriculum on my page. And again, like I said earlier, it is still one of my most watched videos when it comes to curriculum. And people are always asking me, do I still use moving beyond the page? And the answer is yes. Yes, I still use moving beyond the page. Now, being 100% transparent and honest with you guys, I fluctuate. I usually will do a year on, a year off. Sometimes I take a little bit longer off, so I don't use it consistently. Um, and I'll get into why that is a little bit later, but... I do still use it and last semester we didn't use it, but we are now using it for this semester. So I thought this was a perfect time for me to hop on and show you guys um, how we have been using it when I do use it and to give you my current 2021 thoughts on moving beyond the page. Can we just start right here with this with this on their, their website? Can, can we just take a moment and, and take that in? Let's all take this in for just a second. Moving beyond the page, you guys, let's talk about the cons and the pros. Let's just get that out the way before we dive into um, how I've been using moving beyond the page, their new um, offerings and all that good stuff. So the pros, the cons, the good, the bad, the ugly. First, what is moving beyond the page? It is exactly what it says right here. Moving beyond the page is a complete homeschool curriculum for creative, hands-on, and gifted learners. I mean, they nailed it. This is exactly what this curriculum is. Um, the pros about this curriculum is it is hands on, you guys. It is literally hands on. Your kids, if you have a child that likes to touch, feel, apply things that they are learning to real life, this is gonna be the curriculum for them. I love the fact that everything in this curriculum can be applied to right now, real life, in their life, and they show you ways to do it and it is literally hands-on you're doing a project with every single lesson there's an end of the lesson project so those kids that like to build and construct or be creative they're going to get that outlet with this curriculum it can go in between ages it is not grade based it's age based so that means if you have a uh, seven-year-old or uh, eight-year-old who is a little more advanced then you can do you know the eight to ten curriculum or the nine to eleven curriculum i think that's the age bracket we'll see that in just a second but you can basically have two sets of ages learning 
from the same curriculum because it is age based and not grade based. And I feel like that is such a huge, huge pro <clears throat> to this curriculum. Not only when it comes to just the age part, but if you have two different types of gifted learners, because I think all children are gifted learners. So if you have the gifted learner that is a speed learner, they need things that are more challenging. They're like, bum, you know, pushing through things. Then this curriculum is going to feed them. It's going to be challenging for them. It is going to be fast paced if they need it to be. And again, it's hands on. So they're getting that hands on, that creative side. And it is going to feed that child that is more on the advanced side of gifted. If you have the opposite side of that, a gifted learner that likes to take their time, that is more, um, you know, a slower pace and they need more time for a concept to sink in. And they also may not be strong at reading or strong at writing or whatever. And they just need more hands on for things to stick, maybe have a few developmental delays, then this curriculum can work for them as well. And I am saying that you guys because I have both of those type of learners and I have used this curriculum with both of those types of learners and it just works so that is a pro for this curriculum um, another pro is that it is now sibling transferable and, and you can share it with multiple ages of siblings or you can use it from one sibling to the next sibling, a younger sibling um, with their new digital online version. And that is what I'm gonna talk about today because that is how I have been using it. I now use the digital side versus the hard copy side. So that is another pro. This curriculum can be used across multiple siblings or at the same time with multiple siblings those of us with big families we get it we're, we're grateful for that little pro the other pro is that this curriculum is uh, it meets standards it meets core standards so if you live in a state or under an umbrella school that requires your curriculum to meet the standards the core standards this curriculum this curriculum is going to do that so you don't have to worry about if you're stand within the state's standards if your child has to take a standardized test they would be able to use this curriculum and ace their standardized tests another pro that could also uh, lean towards the con side is that this curriculum is not religious based so if you are looking for a more secular curriculum a curriculum that is not heavy on the religion this is going to be the curriculum for you i don't think that this curriculum talks about religion at all i don't recall a time that we've talked about religion in this curriculum it may come up if it is uh, i guess conducive to what's being taught but it's not not just throughout and in and uh, intersected into this curriculum like most uh, Christian curriculums we see such as Apologia or a Beckham. However, for those of you who are looking for a religious curriculum, that could be a con. So let's talk about the cons. Number one, it's not religious based. So again, if you are looking for a curriculum that is going to intersect or interweave uh, religion into it, this is not going to be the curriculum for you. The other <laughs> con to this curriculum is it's going to take a huge bite out of your wallet, bank account, credit card, whatever you use <laughs> to purchase, uh, which we will get into the price and the cost here in just a second. This curriculum is by no means inexpensive. Um, they do offer payment plans, different things like that. So there are ways to make it affordable, but it is an expensive curriculum. However, what you get for that price makes it worth it but again it sometimes is a hard pill to swallow so that is a con the price of the curriculum the other con is the amount of time that it takes to prepare for this curriculum if you are someone that's looking for something that you can just wake up that morning and get into the lesson this is probably not going to be the curriculum for you you do have to plan and prep and and all of those things for this curriculum it takes a lot of parent preparation for this curriculum and that you guys is why i take time off because sometimes 
I just don't want to do all that planning and prepping. So <laughs> I, sometimes I just need a break because moving beyond the page is intensive. It is. I mean, it's hands on, you guys. So it's going to require a lot of preparation and a lot of parent involvement in the curriculum. So this is not the kind of curriculum that you will be able to just give to your child and let them do on their own. Absolutely not. So that could be a con. You are going to have to be involved. It's not a worksheet based curriculum. So keep those things in mind. So those are my pros and cons when it comes to moving beyond the page. Overall, you guys, I love this curriculum. I am a recovering curriculum addict, as you guys know. And so for me to still be using this curriculum, still, I started with moving beyond the page when my now graduated homeschool high schooler, she's 18, just graduated in December, started this curriculum when she was six years old, y'all. And I am still using this curriculum. So that lets you know that I love it. I just, I do, I love it. I did a video on why I no longer use a Becca. And I briefly talked about moving beyond the page and how I wasn't sure about their history. I didn't really know. And that's because I hadn't got to history with them. We are slowly inching into some history. They call it social studies, but we're going to show you. I'm going to show you guys here in just a second um, what I am talking about with getting into history. I also talked about the representation. I wasn't really, you know, sure how I felt about how they had been doing representation and all of those things. But let us pause once again for this beautiful sight on there on the screen. Let us pause and say... Thank you, moving beyond the page, because the representation matters. So, um, with all that being said, I am still using it. I still really do truly a love and enjoy this curriculum. So, here we are. Home screen, movingbeyondthepage.com. This takes you to the home screen. You see they have the purchase now button right here because if you're here, you're obviously ready to purchase. You know all that you know um, about this page uh, or about this curriculum. But if you don't, you can scroll down. It will tell you some things about moving beyond the page, some reviews. Uh, it gives you kind of a general of what uh, the curriculum will look like. It talks about the method. method methodology of it and what makes it unique and all of those good things so that is what you're going to see on the home screen let's click on the shop and we are just going to click on um, let's do this one because this is what we're going to talk about today the 11 to 13 but as you guys can see it goes age based four to five five to seven six to eight seven to nine blah 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 now don't let that be something that gets you stuck where you're like oh i gotta do the nine to eleven because my child is ten or i gotta do the eight to ten because my child is ten or i gotta do the ten to twelve because my child is ten like don't let that get you stuck if you have a ten year old and you're going through this and you're like, well, I think they fall more in this seven to nine, then do the seven to nine, you guys. It, it's okay. It's okay. The great thing about this is in these lower age brackets, they have a um, two options. So they, they have an option that's not, that's not as challenging and they have an option that is more challenging. So you can choose to, you know, which option you want to give your child. So you can do the eight to 10 and maybe they're going to do the option that's not as challenging. Or you could do the nine to 11 or I'm sorry, or you could do the 10 to 12 and they're going to do the option that is more challenging. So you have those options. When you start getting up into these higher grades, you lose um, that option. Uh, the options become more like uh, if your child is more of a artist, the option may be for them to draw something. If your child is more of a writer, the option may be for them to uh, write something. Keep that in mind when you get start getting to these uh, higher grades that the option does change. So you might want to be a little more kind of rigid when you get higher. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm not really sure about high school. So I have not, I, when I started move, using Moving Beyond the Page, they didn't have a high school option. I am so excited that they have a high school option. My current ninth 
ninth grader will more than likely switch into moving beyond the page next year. So I will be able to tell you guys all about moving beyond the page for high school next year. So make sure you uh, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss this video next year. <laughs> all right, you guys. So I am going to, oh, and they also offer single subjects. So if you just wanted to do science, social study, language arts, or math, you could do that. You could also do some individual items and we'll get into all of that. Let's click on the 11 to 13. All right, so here you go, you guys. You're gonna get the full curriculum. You can now buy Moving Beyond the Page in a hard copy, which I did a whole video over the hard copies. Um, that's all they offered at the time. So if you're interested in learning more about the hard copies or a younger age, then go check that video out. I will leave it linked below. They also now offer an online digital, which is what I'm going to talk about today. That is what I have been doing and using, and I love it, you guys. I'm so glad they have this option. Um, and I'm also going to talk about the older age group because we've moved into the older age group. So anyway, you can get the entire curriculum for a full year. Um, and uh, that's going to, again, cover science, social studies, and language arts. They do have a math component that you can add. They also have a phonics component that you can add for kids that are learning to read. So you can add those things additional or uh, just use your own, you know, math or phonics curriculum. So um, anyway, that is pretty much what you're going to get. So you're going to get all of your curriculum and all of your literature and all of your manipulatives if you do the full curriculum so if we scroll down we're gonna see the prices so for the full year package um, and this is the hard copy package you're gonna be looking at 939 but get, again you guys that gives you every single thing you need to do science social studies and language arts everything all your reading all your your literature books all your manipulatives all your curriculum everything your teacher stuff everything you need you're going to get in this cost the online so this is strictly digital which again which is what i'm going to be talking about today that's 832 so you're saving about a hundred dollars doing the digital online package and the way this works is you uh all of your curriculum is going to be online and then they're going to mail you all of your hard books so all of your literature books and then your manipulatives so you still get all of those things but your curriculum is going to be online the option, um, the other option is to do curriculum only. Again, you can do the hard copy that's going to be 450 or you can do the online that's going to be 343 um, And then you get a consumable package. This is basically if you have two kids. So if you have, um, you know, a six-year-old that is advanced and then you have an eight-year-old, you could do the uh, six to eight package the six to eight curriculum and then you would buy this and that would um, be your second siblings uh, curriculum so you this would be a hard another set of hard copy curriculums but you're only going to get one literature book one set of manipulatives that kind of thing um, or for the consumable this is if you do the curriculum only package um, so this is going to be your uh, manipulatives that you're going to get mailed to you um, and then you could do separate. So you could do just language arts, just science, just social studies, or you could purchase individual items. So if you are afraid to take this deep dive into moving beyond the page and you just want to put your toe in, you can go in and just buy one concept or one unit and just try it out maybe for the summer. See if you like it. See what you, you your kids think, what you guys think before you dive all the way in deep. So that is an option as well. So keep that in mind. All right. So what I did, you guys, is I did the online curriculum only and then the, man the manipulative package. And then what I did is I looked at what books we were going to need as far as for the literature. And I sourced those books using Kindle, our library, um, Amazon used books, things like that. 
So that is what I did. I purchased this curriculum only, and then I also purchased the manipulative package, which again, they mailed to me. So um, let's get into this um, curriculum. So with the online, when you want to log in online, you have your online button here. Um, you have learning gates, which I think is, I've, I haven't used learning gates, but I think it's probably similar to a time for learning, um, a vocabulary city where you can go and play online games for like language arts and maths and things like that. I think that that's what that is, but I'm not 100% sure. So, you know, don't quote me on that. All right, then you got your links and your online curriculum. So I'm going to click there. And it instantly takes me to my online account. Here it shows uh, recently used units. So this is the unit that we are currently in and doing. It is unit two and it is Africa. It's about Africa and I'm so excited excited you guys like I said earlier we hadn't gotten into any history with moving beyond the page and I'll kind of show you what I mean by that so I wasn't really sure once we finish this unit I will come back and do a review over um, what I thought and if I feel like this is a, a great way a great history um, unit somebody asked me what I use for history and I told them I usually piece things together because I can't find anything that talks about what I want to talk about so I'm very curious to see if that does that we have not started this I actually you guys did this video earlier um, showed you me activating it and then um, had no sound so yeah there's that <laughs> all right so I've already you know activated it but anyway this shows you your recently used units, so where you are. And then these are your available units that you still can use. So let's talk about that, you guys. The units, once you buy them, they're yours forever until you activate them. So this age four to five, I bought this for Phoenix. Um, if you've been following me on YouTube for a while, you know that Phoenix dropped out of school in 2019. So I bought this age four to five for him. We got up to the letter D and he decided he was done with school and dropped out. So <laughs> I'll leave that video linked below of my preschooler dropped out of school. So we did not finish the unit. Uh, we didn't finish it. So as you can see, it's still here, still waiting on me. And I am probably going to use it with 11. And so it'll be here until I think 11 is ready. He's two now. He'll be three this year. Um, so when I feel like he's ready, we'll click on it, we'll activate it, and we'll start this unit. The other great thing is once you activate a unit, so I activated Africa today, you have a whole year from the date you activate to use it. Y'all, a whole year. Y'all know I'm always talking about how life changes. You just don't know. So having a year to finish something just gives me like, I can, I can breathe. I can breathe. I don't feel like, oh my God, we got to get this done in six weeks, y'all. Like, come on, we're about to run out of time. We're about to run out of time. A whole year, you guys. So I love that about this online uh, digital format. So the other great thing, which we'll get into, is that you could just print the copies, you know, if you have kids of the same age. So for example, 11 is two, Trice is soon to be one in July. So they are a year and a couple uh, a couple months apart, but they will be the same school age. So there's a possibility that I'll be using this age four to five with both Trice and 11. So at that point, I could just print two of these and use it with both of them. Y'all, for us big families, Thank you, moving beyond the page. Thank you. So there's that. Um, also, the other cool thing is, as you can see, I don't have unit one at, uh, up here because unit one we've done and it's expired. It's gone. We've already completed it. And so uh, basically what I could do is I could go in and I could buy uh, unit 17 or unit one again at half price so anytime I use a unit I can renew it for my younger kids at half price so you see I have 18 units that are available for me to renew at half price 
So that is really cool too. Talk about, you know, getting your money's worth. Now, of course, you could, you could, you guys, buy the hard copy, never have your kids write in it, just make copies, and then save that hard copy and pass it down from sibling to sibling. So then you're paying one price, but you got to keep in mind, you're going to have the cost of ink, the cost of printing, plus the cost of the hard back book that you bought and then you have these books so one of the things that i love about the digital two reasons that made me go digital a it's so easy for my my kids to share you guys know i have triplets not really but i have three kids that are the same age and so i could have bought the hardback and made copies and one of them used the book and the other two used worksheets but my kids fight over everything so they would have been fighting over who gets the book a mess so this i could just print the papers they each have their own binder and we're done the other reason is that i started this when Jaden was little she, of course, had the hardback books. Y'all, I still have all her hardback books. And every time I do a deep clean, I come across them and I'm like, I need to get rid of these books. But then I see all her tiny little drawings and her words and her crooked A's. And I'm like, I can't throw them away. <laughs> but then there's all these books. And it's like, why do you still have these books? Why? And then I'm like, this is such a waste. I wish I could just erase her crooked A's and reuse these with my other kids. But obviously, you can't do that. So that is why i went with the digital section or the digital option this time so that's pretty much how that works as far as your time how long you get to use it the cost to renew and using it with multiple siblings so it's broke up as i said earlier into concepts and then units so for your younger kids you're gonna have concept one concept two concept three so you know you have community relationships culture matter math those kind of things and then you're going to have different units within each concept for your older kids you're going to have concept one which is going to be semester one and then concept two which is going to be semester two and then you're going to have your units and each unit is going to have social studies language arts and science so you can see unit three is going to have australia for social studies we're going to be doing the hobbit for language arts and then the lith lithosphere maybe for uh science uh so that's how that works uh for unit two we're going to be doing the atmosphere so i'm going to clip on click on um that so you guys can see i have not activated this lesson so when you have it activated, uh, this is what it says. You have limited access because it's not activated. Um, it tells you if you activate it now, I will have until May 8th, 2022 to use this unit. So again, you guys talk about taking off the pressure, y'all. Thank you. No pressure here. No pressure. Get it done. You need a whole month off. That's okay. No worries. No worries. You need a whole nine months off to have a baby. Don't worry about it. We got you covered. <laughs> so, uh, so again, that's what it tells you. And then um, right here, you have your getting ready. So you remember I said I did the curriculum only and then I resourced for all the books. So if you click on reading and materials in this section, it is going to tell you the required books. So painless earth science and then uh, exploring the sky. So now you can go and find these books, you know, look on Amazon, check Kindle, check your library and get these books in advance. It's also going to tell you all the materials you're going to need for every single lesson. So lesson three, you're going to need three clear drinking glasses. Um, if you got the manipulative kit, which I told you I got, it's going to tell you you already have that. It came in your kit here you already had that it came in your kit so it's telling you the things you already have and then everything else you're going to have to purchase or, or get or find around um, your house some things may also be optional so you don't necessarily have to have those so it tells you that as well you guys now the hard copies come with this same thing 
But I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's that I'm now like in a world of technology and I'm always on my computer or my phone. And so seeing something on a screen like this just feels good for me. I don't know. But what I know is I love this. I love the fact that I could just click one button and everything I'm going to need is right here. It's bullet pointed. <laughs> it's, it's everything I need right here. And I could just go pick a shopping day and go and get all the things that I'm going to need and be done with it. So I love the fact that it just breaks down everything you're going to need for the entire, you know, unit. So that is such a beauty right there. So there's that. Um, then if you're one of the people that's like, how do I use this? I don't know. I'm so nervous. I'm so wary. They thought about you. They care. So you click on this and it basically, you have a little short video that you can watch. Um, it has a note to tell you, you know, everything you need to know. Um, and then it gives you the structure, you know, semesters, units, and lessons. Uh, each semester contains approximately 80 days worth of instructions. So it tells you that um, each lesson has a final project. They last between three to four weeks. I say four to six weeks, maybe even four to eight weeks. And I'll show you guys why I say that in just a minute. But they say between three to four weeks. Um, tells you what it includes and all of those good things. They tell you how to incorporate spelling into your moving beyond the page, a daily journal. And then it also talks about literature. Um, it tells you the, the structure of the lessons, so how that lays out, and it even gives you an idea of how to do your day. So if you're like, how do I schedule my day? What do I do? What do I do? It tells you, you know, four hours on science, social studies, and literature lessons, one hour on math, 15 to 20 minutes reviewing vocabulary, spelling words, 30 minutes of physical activity. I mean, so it tells you how much time they think you should spend on doing these things. So if you're new to homeschooling and you're just like, I'm about to pull my hair out, I have no idea. This is a great way that Moving Beyond the Page comes in and just gives you a big hug and say, it's okay, it's okay. And that is, you know, what this is and tells you how you can do that. So um there is that so we're going to go back to the table of contents it gives you a summary of skills so as i said earlier they do cover uh the core standards so you are getting you know your standardized stuff so it tells you all of the skills that they are going to learn so um examine evidence uh let's see identify the role of the atmospheric movement and weather change and all of those things you te use technologies and information systems to research so it tells you what their science or what their uh what skills they're going to be gaining from science so again you guys if you're wondering if it's going to meet your uh, state standards, you can go here and look up the summary of skills. And then you have this neat little review sheet. Basically, it breaks, breaks down what your kids should be retaining, what knowledge they should know at the end of a lesson. And so this is a good way for you to go in and just review to make sure that they are retaining the information, make sure they understand, make sure the concepts are coming together and it is clicking for them. So this is a great way for you to review and just make sure that things are, are going well as you're going through the units. So um, you have this cool little breakdown as well. All right, you guys. So that is the getting ready. Then you have each of your lessons. So your lesson one, two, three, four, five, six, blah, blah, blah. So um, basically it tells you here, lesson five is going to take two days. Lesson eight is going to take two days. Final projects is going to take two days. So basically they're saying one, two, three, four, uh, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 days to complete this unit. So 15 days is about three weeks, right? Three to four weeks. I like to say four to eight four to six on the short side, because you know you're going to have some sick days in there. You're going to have some off days, some holidays, some travel days, some I don't feel like it days. <laughs> if you're anything like me, we have those I don't feel like it days. So you just want to give that that time for yourself. You don't want this to kind of be your hard 
thing because sometimes when you do that, it puts more pressure on you than you need. And you got a whole year, y'all, a whole year. So I like to just say, give yourself grace. And if you finish in four weeks, kudos, you guys rocked it out. You rocked it out. But if you don't, you planned for an additional two weeks or even four weeks. So um, that's why I say give yourself a little bit more time. All righty. And then here you have your vocabulary. So these are your vocabulary words. And again, you can use these words um, as your spelling words as well, your spelling list. But you have your vocabulary words as well. So let's go back to the home screen and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when you activate. So Africa, we activated it today. Now it says I have full access and I have 364 days left. So every day when I click in, this number is going to go down. Let me know how many days I have left. Um, and now what you see is new is I have the student activity pages, the PDFs and the reading and question pages. Once you download these, they're yours. They're yours. So even when it expires in a year, guess what? You still have access to all of your student activity pages. Now, the lessons don't download they're all online so these lessons you can't download so you will lose access to this after a year but you still have all of your worksheets so you know take that how you you want to take it or do whatever you feel you need with that information just know that these are being downloaded to your computer um, so you do have these. And the cool thing is you can click the student activity pages and then it's going to download. And uh, let me open it up here. And here you have every single page, which is 50 pages um, for your unit. So at this point, you can go ahead and print all the pages, which is what I typically do. Get it all, you know, hole punched and put it in your child's binder and their social studies binder is ready to go for however long it takes for you guys to do this particular unit. So that is something that you can do on the forefront. Great. Done. Your reading and question pages, same thing. You can, uh, uh, download these and you're going to get your reading and question pages and again you can go ahead and print them all and have them all ready to go there is a total of seven of these reading pages so a total of about 57 pages that you'll have to print so not a, not a lot of pages, you guys. You know, you go ahead and do front and back and you're looking at about, what, 28 pages, 29 pages. So that's not too bad. A lot of ink, but not a lot of pages. Now, if you don't want to print everything at one time, if you go into the lesson, so we'll click lesson one. And this is basically what your lesson is going to look like. Um, it's going to tell you uh, what you're going to be learning. So we're going to be learning about Africa. Um, it's going to tell you the stuff you need. Remember, you already bought all this because at the very beginning, you went on a shopping day and you bought all this stuff. So no worries there. Um, you can even put little boxes together, you guys, labeled saying lesson one, lesson two, lesson three. So you can just go pull out your little box. Guys, look at that. No worry, no stress. Um, it's going to tell you some ideas to think about, things you should already know. So when you come to teach, you already know that Afri Africa is a continent made up of 53 countries. You don't want to show up to teach your kids, you guys, and be saying that Africa, you know, is a is a country or, or Africa is a state. You want to know it's a continent and it has 53 countries. <laughs> So, you know, your kids will be like, um, um, mom, dad, no, Africa is a continent. So it tells you the things that you kind of want to know before you start teaching this lesson. And then it tells you the skills that they're going to be learning in this lesson. And then it introduces the lesson. It has a web link. It tells you it was last verified on April 8th. So you're not wondering if it's going to take you to some type of spam or you get there and it's blank. It's no longer working. So it lets you know that the link is still good. 
And this is cool, you guys. This tells you things you might want to be aware of. So sensitive stuff. So this is telling us that on page 207 that the book uses the term Negroid. And it's talking about why it's doing that and how it uses uh, Caucasoid and Mongoloid um, and how these are now offensive and outdated. And it's telling you if your child asks what it means, it's telling you how to talk about it, some things that you can say and all of that, which I think is cool. Now, I myself am quite interested to know exactly what they're saying on page 207. So I cannot wait to get there and, and, and in my review, let you guys know how this played out. But I do appreciate moving beyond the uh, page, giving me a heads up because otherwise I would have got to page 207 and been like, uh, er, what, what, whoop, whoop. <laughs> so so I do appreciate that um and then you're gonna go to next and it's gonna tell you uh your activity one which is brainstorming and then you can print your pages so if you're the type of person that likes to wait to the day of and then print you can do that you don't have to print everything at one time so you can then print your pages um it's going to talk about your reading and questions and all of that good stuff. And then you have your activity. And again, you can print the pages at the time for that activity and then um, your conclusion. So it's going to tell you about your journey, questions to discuss, things to review, blah, blah, blah. And then you can click lesson completed and it, you know, you know that that lesson is done. So this cool little idea share button here is you click on idea share and this is parents because again, you guys, with this, we're moving beyond the page, it's hands on, it's real life. So you're going to be resourcing videos and, and documentaries and things like that to incorporate with your lessons. So with idea share, parents have already found YouTube links and different things for you that they felt were uh, beneficial for this lesson. So that takes out some of the guesswork of you trying to figure out, oh, what else can we watch or see? You can go to the idea share and see what people have already upload it the other cool thing is if you find something that you're like man this would be great you can add your idea here for other parents this is something you don't get with the hard back so keep that in, in mind this is a, a pro of going the online route and then you return to your lesson and we're just going to go back uh, to the intro and there you go. And then you can go back to your table of contents and then this lesson would be done and we would go on to the next lesson. So you guys remember I talked about how when you get to the older ages, the options look a little bit different. So I want to show you that here. So um, let me see. Uh, I think it's on day two. So on day two. You have um, ancient and modern Egypt and you have an option one. So for the option one, you're going to uh, complete the sentences on the activity page, a comparison poem about Egypt then and now to create a poem comparing ancient Egypt to modern Egypt. So this lesson, you're going to be doing a poem. Or your child could choose option two and do a visual map of Egypt then and now. So um, what they're going to do is find the activity pages and you will illustrate maps of ancient and modern Egypt to show the changes in Egyptian life over time. So they're going to draw, you know, the differences between Egypt then and Egypt now. So your options aren't necessarily... Um, one is more challenging than the other is more so creative like if your child likes to write and come up with poems and that's their creative outlet then you could choose option one but if your child is more of an artist and likes to draw and, and is visual then you can choose option two so that's how the uh, options have changed or how they change as you uh, move up into the different age brackets. So definitely keep that in mind if you're looking at an older um, age bracket. That is pretty much how the online digital version of Moving Beyond the Page looks. Again, you guys, I 
personally love this option. Um, let me just really quick tell you guys some of the pros that they talk about for the online benefit, with, uh, for doing the online over the hardback. It's less expensive, um, which I agree. Of course, it's $100 difference, but $100 is $100 save, you guys. So it's less expensive. You're not paying any shipping charges. Um, you have quick access to the videos, pictures, the websites, kind of how I showed you right there where it said, you know, this link was verified on April 8th. You know, and the book is going to tell you, okay, now you want to go to this link and you're going to have to pull up your computer. You know, you remember how the teacher would roll out the... Uh, <laughs> roll in the TV to pull it up. You're going to have to pull out your computer, go to the link and those kind of things. Whereas with the online, you just simply click the link and boom, you're there, right? What is that? The projector, the teachers that had the, uh, the projectors, those were the cool teachers, right? So the online is going to give you quick access to videos, pictures, and websites. Um, you're integrated with IdeaShare. You know, that's where you can go and see what parents have uploaded where they might say, oh, check out this cool Netflix video or check out this YouTube section or whatever. You're going to have access to that where you're not going to have access to that if you do the hard copy. You can start using your curriculum immediately. Immediately, if you're like me and like instant gratification, <laughs> this is going to be the way to go. You don't want to have to wait on your shipment. Now, of course, if you order the uh, literature package and the manipulatives, you're going to have to wait for that stuff to come in. But again, you could still start right now because you can go and get those books again on Kindle or at your library while you wait for your shipment to come in. If you do like the full curriculum and you can always go and buy whatever things that may have, you know, been included in your kit if you're going to need those right away. So, um, yeah, you can start using it right now. Um, the reading and question sections can be typed online and printed instead of written by hand. So if you have a child like one of my kids who does not like to write at all, I mean, they literally hate pencils and pens, this would be great for them. They can just type on the computer, you know, they'll fill out fancy, smancy, type up their answers, and then you print it and put it into their binder if you choose to do so. So that's a really cool option for kids who don't like to write or if you want to incorporate typing into your curriculum. If you want typing to be um, an elective, well, now they can use typing with their moving beyond the page and you're getting a two for a two for one, basically, you guys. All right, so um, it is family friendly. So the copyright enables used by multiple siblings. Yes, yes, and yes to this. This is this is probably one of the best reasons to go online. If you have multiple kids, multiple age groups, if you know you're going to be using Moving Beyond the Page for multiple years, this just makes sense, you guys. It just makes sense because you can print as many copies as you need. So like I said, I have triplets. I have three kids who are virtually the same exact age. And then on top of that, I have another one that's two years behind them. So I currently have three that are 10 and then I have an eight year old. So I can use that eight to 10 curriculum and print all four copies for all four kids. Y'all, we just need a praise break. We just need a praise break for that, seriously. Um, it is also compatible with the iPhone and mobile devices. So if you're traveling or you're out and about and you need, again, they can type on the phone or you need to print at a hotel or whatever. Or if you need to look at your phone to do the uh, parent section while they're doing theirs, you can. Like it's just compatible. It, it means it can go with you. So those are definitely uh, the benefits to doing online versus doing the hard back. Uh, you do need a computer with internet connection, a printer, and Adobe. So keep those things in mind when thinking about the online version. And again, you know that uh, before you activate, you have that unit forever until you activate it. It does not expire. It never ever says right here, units that have not been activated will never expire. 
I showed you guys that with the four to five. Still have it. It's nicely waiting for my little 11 to be ready. Um, the other good thing is you have a 30 day return. So if you want to try it, if you want to try it and see what your kids think, you can go ahead, download it, start right now, today. Try it out. If you find that, nope, it's not for us, then you can return it. Uh, if you find you love it, but you think your child needs to be in a different age bracket, then you can exchange it. So that is absolutely wonderful uh, with this uh, online uh, curriculum. Um, again, they don't expire. Uh, the units are last are designed for three weeks, but you have one year, one year, you guys look at that one year to finish again. That means you don't have to panic. You don't have to panic. Um, you can do the units out of order. So I was going to say that you guys earlier that you could do the units out of order. Let's go back here because I want to show you guys something really uh, cool. This being uh, Asian um, Awareness Month. You could go ahead and do this ancient Asia or Asia today unit studies and literally incorporate it with what is going on in the world right now, like right now in real time. And I love that about moving beyond the page because it is hands on and it is life based. It's so hands on and so life based that I found a lot of times we will learn something and moving beyond the page. It'll happen in real life. And my kids will be like, we just learned about that in school yesterday. And that's when the neurons connect and it sticks and it makes sense because they're like, we just learned that. And now it's like real life, you guys. So um, I love that you don't have to do things in order. If you're taking a trip, if you're going somewhere, you can be like, you know what? We're going to visit Australia. We're going to learn about Australia now so that when we get there, these things are clicking like y'all. Seriously, you just you you cannot take that for granted as a homeschooler. Um, again, so I talked about how it's not religious based, but here you're talking about Greece and Rome, and then you're talking about Greek gods. If you are religious, you guys know I talk about all the time how Apologia, Becca, a lot of the curriculums we've used in the past were heavily, heavily religious based and how that opened up a door of opportunity for me to talk to my kids about different beliefs, different religions, um, different times and just all kinds of different things. So what I love is that while moving beyond the page is not religious based, if you are religious, this is an opportunity for you to incorporate it in a way that you want to. So if your child was in public school, they're going to learn about the Greek gods. They just are. And there's nothing you can do about it. But if they're homeschooled, when you start learning about Greek gods and Greece and Rome, this is the time where you can talk about, well, during this time era, this is what was going on in the Bible. Let's turn to the Bible and see what the Bible says about what we're learning. Or let's talk about Greek gods and what the Bible says about idols and, and different gods and all of those things. You can bring in your religion and make it make sense to what you are learning about right now. So it opens up just these doors of opportunity and conversations that I think are way, way, way more important um, for learning than just sit down at your desk and, and learn these things. So keep that in mind if you are a person that wants your child to get religion in their curriculum. You can totally add that into it yourself. So yeah. So you guys, that's it. Woo. <laughs> that is my long, long detailed update review over moving beyond the page. Again, if you want to know about the hard copies or a younger age bracket, the video that I did prior uh, will be linked below. So go check that out. Uh, if you guys have any additional questions about moving beyond the page, 
uh, feel free to leave those in the comment section and I will answer them for you. I will, like I said, be back to do my updated thoughts on these uh, history units so you guys can see what, what if you think that'll work for you and your family. Um, so if you have questions, then I can answer them at that time for you as well. What are you guys' thoughts? I would love to know. What are you guys' thoughts? If you've seen my previous video on the hard copy versus now this online version what are your thoughts on it tell me what you think i would love to hear uh your thoughts as well on that uh if you decide you want to go with moving beyond the page or you want just to read up more on moving beyond the page i will have a link down below it is an affiliate link so if you click on that link and decide to purchase something then i do get a small kickback so i appreciate you guys thank you thank you that is how i'm able to uh put together all these lovely videos <laughs> so that'll buy me a nice coffee so i do appreciate that you guys um other than that you guys thank you so much if you are not part of the family what are you waiting for on this screen somewhere is a subscribe button so hit that subscribe button and join the little family and if you are already part of the non-traditional family thank you i love you and i will see you next time bye guys